Is my grandpa secretly Commissioner Gordon? What burger of the day do I want to eat today? How does Ben Grimm have children? How is Hope going to get herself out of this one? Hmm. Let's have a conversation. Hello. Welcome to Conversations with the Goob. That's me. Let's have a conversation. So I'm recording this video on October 31st, All Hallows Eve. Uh, but it's going to be coming out to you on Tuesday, November 3rd, uh, which is voting day. Um, so uh, I decided I, th I should talk about uh, something that I participate in every year, Movember. Uh, a lot of people call it No Shave November. Movember is actually a group that um, they are the ones that founded it um, quite a few years ago. I actually didn't write that one, that date down. I've been doing it for five years now, um, and I believe they were around for a couple of years before that even. Uh, they, they are an annual event that raises awareness uh, to talk about men's health. That um, started with prostate cancer. It also includes testicular cancer and uh, men's suicide. Um, those are just a few of the things that you know affect men's health. Um, men's mental health is big. I know growing up just the way that society talks to you, it's like men have to hide our feelings and our emotions and we need to come off as big and strong and you know, oh, you're crying at a movie? That's such a wussy thing to do. Um, it's hard for men to, to communicate. Uh, it's hard for men to tell their feelings, especially if other people are upset around them. I know when my dad died, I was extremely depressed, but my mom was even more depressed and I needed to be strong around her. And I don't even know if I did a good job at that, but um, just so many times where you have something going on and men hide it. Well, so mental health is a big thing for men too. Um, that's one of the things that they talk about. Uh, the founders are Adam and Travis Garone, Luke Slattery and Justin Coglin. Now I apologize if I mispronounce any of those names. Uh, and their motto, which I really like, is changing the face of men's health. Um, because, you know, the you grow a mo, a mustache, if you will. Um, any type of facial hair, uh, they always, you know, go around mustaches. But um, I already have the beard and I ain't shaving the beard off. But um, I did, uh, I, I am not shaving right now. I will trim up and just leave this bit right here and have like a Will Riker type must, uh, mustache and beard combo going on. Um, the company comes from Melbourne, Australia. That's where they are located at, but they have places um, all over the world. They have a couple, uh, they have one in uh, Los Angeles, and I didn't read the other places. Um, but they have, and then they, they just are a worldwide uh, fundraising organization. Um, so on their website, which I will put in the description down below for you to check out, uh, you can set up your own pages so you can do group things. Um, I've tried having parties in the past. Right now we're in a pandemic, so it's not really a great idea to have a party. Um, it's, uh, but uh, it hasn't worked out. Um, it's just, it's a hard month to get people together during. But uh, I always grow a mustache and I always talk to people about it, you know, about the Movember group. Um, I will put my link down below if you do want to donate a couple bucks. Uh, it all goes towards this this group, then it all goes out towards Men's Health. Um, they are a nonprofit organization, um, so it all goes out to help you know Men's Health. Um, also, you can click this QR code right here, and that'll take you right to my uh, my page as well. Um, or you can donate directly to the group, the the company itself. You don't have to donate through my page. It's just that they have it where the people that are growing the mows are also able to set up pages where they can bring in donations. And um, I just thought I might, I'll put it out there again this year and see if anyone anyone donates. Um, uh, so I always try to grow a mustache. I'm gonna try to find some pictures of my dad. He didn't like taking pictures, but I get this issue from him. I don't grow anything right here. I always call it the reverse Hitler. There's just nothing, and my dad, his mustache would get pretty thick towards the end, you know, whenever he was growing it. 
and so you wouldn't notice that. I always end up shaving it off before that too long. Um, hey, that's my water. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just thought I would um, talk about the group, talk about growing a mo, um, grow your mustache. Let me know down below if you're growing a mustache. Uh, if you're if you're a lady, obviously you don't want to grow a mustache. Um, you can still participate. Uh, don't shave your legs. You know, it's uh, it's November. You're going to be wearing pants anyways, so um, <laughs> don't shave the legs uh, to, to help bring awareness to men men's uh, health issues. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know below if you if you've heard of Movember and not just the no shave November fun thing that people do. Um, let me know if you're growing a mustache. If you have a page as well. Um, share your links down below for the Movember pages and um, also and uh, just uh, like I said today is voting day so I don't care who you're voting for just get out there and vote. Uh, this is the time to use your uh, your voice, your uh, your right as a human being, um, as an American to get out there and vote for whoever you want. Um, even if it's Ralph Nader. I don't think he's running anymore but um, hey. Wants my water that badly. Uh, well, anyways, uh, thanks for coming. And all as always, you don't need to have superpowers to be a hero.